Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. Got some new product for you and it's the TaylorMade again and it's the launch of the new SIM irons. So I've got two irons that they are offering. We've got the SIM Max and we've got the SIM Max OS, which stands for Oversize. So we're gonna really focus on these two irons today. We're gonna to hit both of these irons and really see which probably type of golfer would be suiting to these irons. I've got GC quad on the floor as always, so we'll provide you with some numbers, some data, my personal feedback of how these irons look, feel and perform. Okay, so we're going to start off with the SIM Max Iron first. So, talk a little bit about the technology, what's happening. Obviously, again, there's loads of technology, as you expect from TaylorMade, happening in these. So, we're seeing the speed bridge, which is that uh, bridging of the sole to the top line of the golf club, this sort of like strip in the section there, which is you can see actually underneath it and behind it. So, that's supporting both the top and the bottom section, so reducing sort of flex and energy loss through that club face, and obviously putting that back into the golf ball in terms of stability and also ball speed off the club face trying to get as high as we can we're still seeing speed slot in the sole for those strikes that are coming low in the club face they're going to help to, again keep that ball speed up but we do lose now the, the face slots which i think telemo did have some issues on the early releases of the face slots when they first came out of them actually coming loose and, and coming out so they've sort of gone now so we've got fluted her hosel so that's saving weight and repositioning it and we'll talk a little bit about the, the other technology uh, in the club as we go through this video. So first instincts behind the golf ball, it's a pretty big appearance. It's a thick top line there, bit of offset happening. You know, this is more like an M6 replacement iron. So we're gonna see loads of forgiveness, loads of power, or oh, we should be doing all that's what Taylor made is saying. Anyway, let's get his first one hit. So I've got a six iron here and I've set myself up at 200 yards from the, from the green. Okay, that was a little bit low in the club face, a little bit of a tingler, finger tingler. Nice and straight though, seems to get up there. Take that as a bad strike. So as you'd expect, these lofts are strong. So this is a six iron, as I say, I'm hitting, this is 25 degrees of loft. So the seven iron is coming in at 28.5. So I think very similar loft into what we saw in the M6, that hasn't actually changed. Lofts in the oversize, however, are a little bit different again, but we'll come to that when we, when we get those in our hands. It's a nice shot. Pretty neutral. Yeah, it's getting up there quite nicely. Interesting to see, obviously, spinning with his strong loss, 25 degrees. I can't imagine spin's going to be really high, so that's obviously the trade-off that we get. I think for the type of golfer probably looking at these is maybe a golfer who's looking for power, wants some more yards, needs some sort of forgiveness, a little bit of help really what these irons are sort of aimed at. Obviously you've got your P series, P790, P760, which is going to more in the control, more that maybe what they call the players category where you're going to get a little bit of feel and control. So these are very much geared around getting that ball out there as far as it really can. So the spin isn't going to be in the, the sort of category that I think many of you will want it to be. That's a good hit. It's a pretty loud sound to it, it's going to be explosive. Now, Telemade have said they've done some work in the acoustics of this to try and control that sound, because obviously as you start increasing big pockets and big cavities, sound starts to echo around a lot more. So, it, it's, it's explosive, but it's not, it's, not a, it's not too overpowering away in terms of that sound. Oh, it's working a little bit, that's a good strike though. It's gonna go a long way. Yeah, it's reached the back of green. Really hit that one. Very sort of nice on this strike of that spun. Yeah, it's just over 4,000 spin with a six iron. It's low, isn't it? That's where that distance is really gonna sort of come from. You know, I'm getting a bit of good speed, 135 ball speed there. That carried 207 through the air for a six iron, which is, for me, is a long way. But a lot of that distance is gonna come through that low spin. Get the low spin, the ball just keeps going forward obviously where you get the distance from. But the height of the flight is nice and high. It's not like it's coming out really low with low spin. The flight is pretty high. Oh, I've ripped that as well. Get really high on the flight. Sounds pretty explosive off the club face. You know you've hit that. Nice and accurate there. Not quite as long as that last one, but still very Big, it should have hit 201 carry. That one split up at 4,700. So my just slight subtle differences of strikes, just gonna change that spin number 
a little bit. So the club face on this is very, very thin. So the 1.5 millimeter in the thickness of the face, so again, as they get that the face very thin, it's creating more speed off that club face. We've got inverted cone sort of technology here, which is progressive through all the iron. So again, that's helping to increase the sweet spot, increase the miss hits uh, or the better on the miss hits and also trying to reduce a little bit of side spin. So trying to keep a, as much accuracy as they possibly can through this iron. We'll hit one more shot, then we'll move into the oversize. That's a good hit, just turn that one over a fraction, literally a fraction, that's going to go a little bit further. That's gone mouse, that's flown the whole lot. That's gone a long way, 4,200 spin, 207 carry again. Okay, so that's the Sim Max Iron, so that's the M6 replacement. Let's move into the oversize. Okay, so Sim Max OS, OS standing for oversize, and that is definitely what it is. We're seeing a big, beefy sort of head uh, in this particular model now. So instantly you see the sole gets much wider from front to back, much thicker on that sole. We see the cavity much deeper in the back section. The speed bridge there is, is still there, but it's very much pulled back. There's a bigger gap underneath that. You can nearly get your finger under there in that uh, gap behind it. So really pulling that weight back low and away from that club face putting it down by the golf ball and again some big differences here loads of offset there's so much offset on that it's, it's scary so massive offset here again thick big top line possibly not any longer from that heel to the toe section but we do start to see the back of that sole sort of be visible on the on behind that top edge of the of the leading edge and that will probably get a bit more exaggerated as you lose a loss as you go into your longer irons you'll probably see more of that sticking out and obviously as you go into the uh, in, your, in your higher lofted irons you'll see that you'll probably lose that actual uh, visual there but if that puts you off then that might not be a great iron for you um, to sort of look at so anyway let's get this first one hit okay good strike a little bit pushy just going to miss that right edge of the green. I've moved myself back to 207 yards and there's obviously a reason for that and you're probably going to guess what it is. These lofts are going stronger again. So the 6-iron now is coming in, wait for it, at 23.5 degrees of loft. 7-iron coming in at 27. So these are strong. They're in the very strong bracket. So very much obviously gear for the golfer just wants to get that ball out there as far as he can probably not too worried about what spin numbers are doing they just want to hit it a little bit further make it a little bit more forgiving add a little bit more enjoyment i get it you know it's ticking a box i think for the guy who wants that control he's more interested in spin numbers and trying to get that landing control in a way you're probably going to be looking more into the sort of p range p790 p760 but obviously then you're not going to see the explosive power so there's obviously a trade-off here between these clubs but so definitely aimed at golf who's wanting max forgiveness maximum sort of distance in a way and this is OS iron. That's got strike to turn that fraction there again re still you know 27 23 and a half degree loft of iron still getting plenty of height on those shots. So you are going to get a little bit of stopping power through that descent angle with the height that you get. But spins in that similar sort of area that to be fair that we've just seen with the sim max around that sort of low 4,000 mark, which we know is low for a six iron. Oh, that's the one I dread. It's the only thing I hate with looking at a club with so much offset. It just feels like I'm going to hit it really left. Yeah, that was a clearly a bit of what I'm doing, but the offset doesn't help me there. It just wants to feel like it closes that club face. That's a nice shot. Very high flight, very neutral. That's getting up there very easily as well. Getting around that sort of 210 carry mark. So technology wise, we're still seeing the same things as we've seen in the Sim Max iron. So we've got that 1.5 millimeter face. Everything's the same, speed bridge in there. Um, speed slot in the sole, we've got that inverted cone progression uh, sort of technology which is helping with ball speed and reduction of side spin on missed centre hits. It basically just got it in a bulkier package and slightly stronger on those on those lofts. Acoustic wise, it's, it sounds very, very similar to Sim Max. It's not got louder. Sometimes, again, as you that in cavity in the back increases, sometimes the acoustics increase, but it seems very, very similar to the Sim Max. Turning a fraction there, fraction toey as well. That 
yeah, it just turns over a little bit, just goes. So, gotta go a little bit further. That spin will drop off as well on that particular shot. So, these are available four iron through to pitch, um, gap, sand, and lob wedge. I'm not sure how many four irons they're gonna sell because the four irons coming in at 18 degrees of loft, which is effectively like a two iron. <laughs> Um, and I'm guessing the type of golfer would be probably edging into these irons would be somebody who's lacking a little bit of speed in all honesty. So it needs a bit of that, that low back weight to try and get that ball up into the air a little bit more. So those guys will tend to typically struggle with that long iron, just physically can't keep it in the air because they haven't got the speed. So obviously they'll be moving more into that Sim Max, maybe rescue club, you know, hybrids, re re replacing the long irons with those hybrids. Okay, let's hit one more shot and then we're gonna check some numbers out. That's a good one to finish on. I've hit that really well. That's high, it's long. Yeah, kind of a bit further up that green. Okay, right, so those back shots hit with the Max OS. We've got the Sim Max, Max OS. Let's go and check some numbers out. So number time, we've got the Sim on the top and the Max OS on the bottom. So you can see 132 averaging with the Sim Max and 135 with the OS. Obviously, we're gonna see a little bit more ball speed because it's one and a half degrees stronger on the loft. So slight straighter face, you would def definitely see a little bit more ball speed, which we have done there. Uh, launch, pretty identical there, f just under 15, just fractionally over 15. It's pretty low there, sort of six iron. Um, but it does peak out pretty high. So 34 and 35 on the peak heights there. So it is peaking high, so it's getting to that height of its flight more through the sort of speed that it's got, to be honest. Um, backspin number wise, you can see 4380 with the Sim Max dropping down to 4000 with the OS. Bearing in mind, I did have that real left shot, which was that one. You can see how that really pulls spin off 3667. And again, that was a left one, which is 38. So they're going to go strong, long, and left for me. Anyway, if you're going to miss it, they're going to go long and left. So and that's what's happened. So that's how I've pulled the average down. So probably if you took those out, you've sort of a very similar sort of number in terms of spin. But again, it is in that low bracket, as you'd expect from that particular loft. So carry distance there, 200 with the max and 208 with the max OS. Right, okay guys, so there we go. There's the Sim Max, Sim Max OS. So two very forgiving irons for me. Very, very similar looking to the M6, you know, with speed bridge there, what's happening. Obviously just a different colorway there. A little bit of similar technology, maybe just got a bit more of a dampening tune in there. Lots of very, very sort of similar. Obviously the OS is going stronger again. So not a huge change of technology there in regards to maybe what we've sort of seen with the, with the driver. We saw that obviously very different sole there, which helped a little bit of speed. And I did see some a uh, bit of speed uptake there with with my um, club head delivery. So, uh, but these two irons, very forgiving, obviously very, very strong on the loft. So type of goal for these are aimed at somebody who just wants some pure distance, ultimate forgiveness. Obviously often a little bit more of that in that max head, just purely through that stronger, stronger loft. But my message to you guys, as always, especially these stronger lofted clubs, just go and get fitted. Um, you know, you, I reckon you'd be replacing those longer irons, especially in that OS head, you know, more with the rescue club to help a little bit easier that launch, bit more forgiveness yet again. And then depending on what you do at the wedge side of things, obviously wedges, the loss being stronger, you've got to have probably carrying more wedges, are you? So obviously you've always got to bear that into mind as well. So post comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the sim range of irons both these two, but also the sim range as a, as a whole with the, with the woods as well. Love to hear your thoughts as always. If you enjoy the content, you haven't subscribed, you know what to do, just jump down in there, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell wire there as well so you get notifications at any future video. As soon as they're on the channel, you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it. And hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.